Hello, hello, and welcome to Rory's Brainworks, where we get creative and see if it works. Today, we will be taking a step back into Kimbaku with a classic, the Dragonfly Harness. Now, just like the Gote Shibari, the Dragonfly Harness has uh, many ways to be done, and each person likes to do it differently. But to me, I feel that there is one particular way that uh, everyone kind of knows, and that's the one I will be showing you today. And it can be done with one 30-foot bundle of rope. Huzzah! I know many of you are not as blessed as I am to have a bevy of ropes at your disposal, but rest assured I am doing my best to keep most of these tutorials within one to two ropes, except for, you know, last week's where the V-plate harness had four ropes involved with it, but I showed you how to do it with two, so <laughs> I guess that's that. That's, the, that's your consolation prize. The Dragonfly harness, however, is a classic where we'll be basically pinning the arms behind the back and then adding our own little flair to it as we so often do here. And of course, we must first talk about safe, saying consensual safety. Be sure to have some safety shears with you at all times. You can always get a new rope, but you can't get a new life. And consensual. Marie and I are both consenting adults. Communication is key. Now, before we deep dive into our tutorial, we must first thank my sponsor, Knothead Nylon. Knothead Nylon is the destination for all your premium nylon rope bondage needs. Easy to clean, water resistant, up to 1,100 pounds of weight load, and in a wide array of beautiful, vibrant colors, Knothead Nylon will slake your rope desires. At checkout, put in discount code Rory10 for 10% off. Now I have my 30 feet of rose gold nylon rope. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bite of the rope in the middle of the rope, and I'm gonna do something that if you follow me on TikTok, you know I have exalted in hating on it. Specifically, the way that it's used. There's nothing wrong per se against this particular type of tie, but it's the way that people on TikTok were using it and abusing it that was bad. This is the, uh, the fireman cuff or the prisoner's cuff that you can easily create that cinches. And we're gonna be using it in a way that is positive as opposed to negative. That is the difference. We will be using it for good instead of evil. Dirty, wrong, unsafe, evil. So, we got the middle of our rope, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one circle, making sure that the, uh, the rope is going over itself, and we're gonna do the same thing, the same way you would when making a, uh, a heart knot. So, we have gone over ourselves twice. We've made two loops, go around and over ourselves, go around and over ourselves, and then we're going to mingle those ropes together. We're gonna, because as, like you can see with the weave, we have this one up top here, and this one below, which means this one has to then go above this one. So we're gonna reach in and grab that, and then we're gonna reach underneath and grab this one and we're gonna pull. Now, usually what you would see inside those TikTok videos is people putting in their hands and then using their teeth to pull this and they would be shirtless and they'd be all like, look at how sexy I am. But that's not what we're doing. What we're going to do is we're gonna place them around the shoulders, much like a backpack. Now, Marie's arms are uh, less mobile than, you know, other people's. That's nothing on you, Marie. You're wonderful. Don't uh, get angry at me. <laughs> all right. So once we got them wrapped around the shoulders like that, we're gonna tighten a little bit to the comfort of our rope model. We also wanna keep it in the middle line there. Marie, how does that feel? Does that feel good? Awesome. Now, we have this at a very comfortable range and pressure for our, our rope model. Now what I'm gonna do is simply do an overhand knot at the base of it so it doesn't cinch anymore and so it doesn't loosen up. So I'm just gonna go over ourselves and through the loop we created, making sure I'm constantly putting pressure up that way, into it. That way it doesn't release any of its pressure. Make sure that we're pushing that overhand knot into the area, that way we are not going to lose or gain any cinch in that area. Now, that's really the only time we will be using basically that starting knot. The rest of them are going to be this particular knot I will show you and overhand knots sequentially after each other. So what we're going to do is you're just going to grab it and pull it over itself. As you can see, we are taking the rope, looping it, and putting it over itself. We're going to reach in and grab the ropes, and instead of pulling it all the way through, we're just going to separate it, just like that. Now, these are our wings for the dragonfly, as you can see. This is going to happen over and over again, going around the arms. So we'll just put them around our arms of Marie. So once you get this 
uh, knot that we just created around the arms and uh, you cinch it up a little bit to where it's the, the right tightness for your rope model. Marie, how's that feeling? A little bit tighter? You got it. Awesome, how's that now? Good. So we're gonna create another overhand knot, making sure we're constantly keeping upwards pressure onto uh, the previous knot we had made, just to make sure that we don't have it loosen or tighten unnecessarily. There we go. So, like I said, we're gonna be doing a cinching knot, overhand knot, cinching knot, overhand knot. We'll do the same thing again. Let's get closer. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Looks like we're gonna do an overhand knot, which technically we are. We're gonna reach in and grab these two, spread them out, put them across the arms. Once you tighten up, it's gonna look like that again. And you can also, because Marie is a <sighs> less flexible, you can bring these in more, varying on the preferences of your rope model. If they really want something like a, a true Kimbaku feel, if they want that tight bind, you can give them a tight bind. Like I say, just, you know, be sure to be safe about it. Stay in constant communication. That's not just on you, but that's also on your rope model. Stay in constant communication with your rigger. You don't have to act tough to make it seem like you can take a lot. You can uh, let people know when your arm is having a little bit of blood loss or you're getting a little bit of tingling. They can, because of uh, what kind of knots they are, they can be loosened. All right. Also, since Marie doesn't have skin and uh, a lot of tension, you will see some of these things fall down a few times. I want to make sure that doesn't happen quite as much. So I have my desired amount of pressure. That's going to fall down again. I'm going to do an overhand knot just to secure it. And make sure it does not cinch loose or tighter. All right, let's keep going. Overhand, go through, separate, put around arms. Once around, tighten, check in, overhand knot. Now we still got more rope and we still have more wings to do, but what I'm going to do is add a small overhand knot right here, just about an inch, just to give me a, a little bit of buffer zone. That way when I start the next dragonfly wings, they're going to be down here, not on the elbow ditch itself. I want to be on either side of the elbow ditch, but not inside the elbow ditch. That way when I do this, Create some wings, put it around, tighten up. It's not gonna go into the elbow ditch at all. It's gonna stay right there. Overhand knot, stop that cinching. There we go. I still have a bit of rope left, but uh, I'm just gonna leave that there for the time being. That's the base of the dragonfly harness. Yay! Marie, how are you feeling inside that? Definitely. I agree. It's almost relaxing. It's relieving in a way because it really does stretch the arms back. One of the things that we do often as humans is that we are engaging our pectorals all the time. They're such large muscles and we end up doing things in front of ourselves. We're always working on things that are in front of ourselves. So having our uh, the ability to stretch out the pecs with this actually helps out a whole bunch. I'm not saying you should put it in your workout routine. You could. People might look at you weird at the gym and you need like a gym buddy to go with it or to do it. But another great thing about that. No, stay. Stay. Another great thing about this is that it is a base. It is a solid base for other things you can do. You can make lots of things with it. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to use some magic. I'm going to go ahead in time and I'm just going to create something and show you. Well, what I ended up doing wrap around, double coin knot, half hitch collaring, and then just kind of doing these uh, little slips going back and forth. And between the dragonfly wings, I uh, ended up rolling up a few times to make them just a little bit more snug, a little bit more uh, tight. I'll switch to that side. As you can see from this side, all I've done is wrapped around, made sure that the wings of the dragonfly are a little bit tighter. Let's get a little closer. So I came in, wrapped around and under, went twice, and then made a half hitch to go back the other way. Very easy, very fun. And that's really what this is all about, isn't it? It's about fun, it's creativity, it's learning, it's doing cool stuff. It's relaxing, it's arousing. Shabar is a wonderful thing. I hope you see it like I see it, and I hope you feel it like I feel it. Well, hey, I hope you had a lot of fun learning from that tutorial as I did teaching it to you.
Marie has decided that she wanted to try and simulate what it was to actually be a dragonfly. Marie is currently on the phone with some people trying to convince them to let her parachute while tied up in the harness. I wish her all the luck. <laughs> I would be remiss if I did not bring up my other sponsors for today, the wonderful people at Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash Rory's Brainworks, just like this channel. They are my rope vanguard, my colonizers of dreams, and without them, these rope endeavors would be <laughs> way harder to accomplish. Thank you for spending your time with me. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this madness, and comment down below what kind of shibari or tobacco things you would like me to teach you. As always, I'm Rory. This is my brain. I'm very certain it works. Be safe, and go create some art.